Okay, so following on from our first video on our cho hot chocolate series, we're gonna be looking at doing one with Nutella. Let's get on with it. So as with the first hot chocolate, the, the recipe is very, very similar and the process is very similar. Instead of having caramel in there uh, uh, and the other ingredients here, we're gonna replace that with Nutella and we're gonna put a bit of hazelnut syrup in just to give it that extra kick if you've got it. If you haven't, it's not a problem. Just put a little bit more Nutella in it and it'll give it the flavor. So we've got the milk in, we've got the uh, cocoa powder, then we're gonna put a good, good uh, amount of Nutella in. Look at that. This one is my daughter's favourite, as you can imagine. And then we're going to warm. Uh, we're going to put in the hazelnut, just to give it that little bit more kick of hazelnut flavour that you get from these chocolate spreads. And then we're going to warm this up as we did before. Just keep whisking this as we did with the last one, making sure nothing catches. This one will melt a bit quicker because obviously the Nutella is a bit softer than the chocolate in the previous one. And we're just combining all this and bringing it up to the boil to a simmer and then we're going to just make it that little bit extra thicker to make it that extra bit yummy and so as with the first one we're going to put the corn flour in once it comes to a simmer which we've made into a paste just add a little bit of milk to it and again like with the other one we'll add this to taste as it were to the desired thickness that you like but this just gives it that extra body, makes it that extra rich, extra yummy. That's all combining nicely now. So what we want to do is just wait for that to come up to a simmer. So we brought that up to a simmer. Let's just turn that down so we don't boil it over. And we're just going to thicken that up. You can see it's already looking thick. And this is just going to give it that little bit extra body. Okay, so you can see from here now we've got a bit more consistency into it, a little bit more body. As I say, you can make it thicker if you want or keep it a little bit thinner as you like, but this just gives it a little bit more yumminess to it. And you can see already it's really nice and thick. So, you can drink it like that, but as I'm sure a lot of people like cream on theirs, we'll add the cream up, that nice and rich in there. We'll have our marshmallows because this is a Nutella and cookie. So because of that, we're going to crumble some nice chocolate chip cookie on top as well to give it a nice flavour and just enhance that cookie bit of it. And we're going to put some, I'll put some vermicelli on this one, but you can put as you like, as we said in the first video, just sprinkle a little bit of chocolate vermicelli over. And then you can put a sauce topping. Chocolate's good, caramel, they're all good. There's nothing you can do wrong here. Add the toppings that you like. There we go. Our second hot chocolate, Nutella and cookie hot chocolate drink. Uh, head over to our website, www.justcookwithpaul.co.uk. All our recipes are on there for the hot chocolates. The recipes are for four, so just you know, make it as you need, as you desire, times it up or down, uh, uh, and, and, and enjoy.